Hey, Click Designers, would you like to see how you can make stunning websites and sales funnels fast without any coding or technical skills? Now you can with Click Pages, and I'll show you how. Let's get started. First, log into your Click Designs account, then click on Templates, hover over to the right, then click on the Pages category. Type in your keyword or your niche, and then click on Use Template on the template that appears. Then under My Designs, click on Open, and then you will see the different designs that you can edit starting with the header. Then I immediately clicked on the Layers pane, and I will make the background invisible for the meantime so that I could change the background color to something that I like. Right after that, I will modify all the designs here. So this time I will change this serum right here and then I will upload one of the designs that I've exported from Click Designs, which I have downloaded to my local drive. This is the Click Packaging Eye Serum design that I've created. And all I have to do is just put it on top of the existing design here on this page. I'll adjust the contrast a little bit and I'll make some final touches to the image. Then I'm going to remove that logo and upload my own logo that I've also created using Click Designs and I've saved it to my local drive. There you go, and then I'm just going to fix that. Then I will change the copy right here. So basically I can add my own copy, my own subheadline, and obviously my own edits for the text. So I'm just going to Resize that and make some changes here. Once I'm done with this section, I'm just going to move the CTA button and then I'm going to select all these elements and group them together so that they work as one image when they're exported and not several elements. So I can modify my background, make this transparent, click on layers and make my background visible again. Once done, I am ready to save it. So I'm going to click on save and I'm basically done with my header section or my header page block. Now it's time for me to edit the feature section block. And again, I have the text here that I can modify. I could just paste my copy right here. And then I could update all the text here with my new features or with the features of my supplement, or in this case, my eye serum. What I'm going to do is I'm going to group them all together and also fix the alignment of everything. And then I could select this, change the copy there, paste my copy here and group it together group this together so I could move all the blocks downwards and then I could paste my updated copy right there. I could also adjust the line height just to make sure that it appears nice. And then once done, I could change the font size as well. And then obviously I can group it together just to make sure that everything is aligned. Then I'm going to change this one and replace it with one of the images that I've exported from Click Designs. I've saved it in my local drive and now I have this girl I'm just going to put her on top of this part. I'm going to send it backwards and then I'm going to put this element right in front of her. So basically I'm just playing with the elements and putting some elements on top of each other. Then I put the eye serum that I've created earlier and I'm just going to adjust some of the elements and fix the placing. I'm going to add some image filters by adjusting the contrast and also adding the blur in the shadow. Highlight everything and group them together. After that, I'll highlight all the elements on this page and then I'm going to click on the Layers pane and make my background layer visible. I'll make some final touches to my feature block and then once done, I'm going to click on Save and then I can go back to my dashboard so that I can go and edit my content section. So I'm going to open that under my designs and then click on edit and then I'm going to paste my copy here on this content section. Now I'll click on layers and then I'll hide the background first so that I can play around with the background color. And then I'm going to select these boxes and move them around. Then I'm going to update the copy of all the features here on this content section and I'm going to paste everything here. I'm going to arrange the alignment as well and then I could also paste my new copy for each and every text block. Now that our copy is updated, it's time for us to change the icon. What I did was I clicked on the icons menu on the left and then I chose the icon that matches our category or our copy. Then I changed the color of the icon and then I grouped them all together, then aligned them horizontally. I'm going to repeat the process for each and every content box right here and select the icon that best matches my copy. Now that I've updated all the icons, I am going to group the boxes individually with all the elements grouped together. Once done, I am now ready to make my background visible again. So I'm going to click on layers and I'm going to click on backgrounds to make sure it is visible. Now I am finished with my content block. I'm going to click on save. I'm going to click on exit. 
then I can edit my testimonial block. So here, basically, we are going to change all the testimonials. We are going to paste our copy. We can also arrange and fix the alignment of the text and the paragraphs. Then we can make some adjustments to the spacing and also to the font style. Now I'm going to the layer section again, and then I'm going to hide the background first so that we have a cleaner canvas. Now, after grouping them together and aligning them horizontally and centering them, I'm going to change the images. I'm going to upload a photo from my local drive, basically, and then add it here on the canvas. Make it smaller with the same size and obviously repeat the same process. So I'm going to add that and then I'm going to click on the layers pane, hide the layer behind it, and then make adjustments to the fonts the names, the styles, and also the formatting. I'm going to repeat the same process for the two other testimonials here in this testimonial block. Now that everything is updated, I am going to group all these elements together just to make sure that they are centered and to make sure that they are aligned correctly. I will go back to my layers pane and I will bring back my background now that it's visible. I'm just going to make some final touches and adjustments. I'm going to put my eye serum right here and add it to the background. Let's move this bottle around and adjust the contrast a little bit. Right after that, we are going to select all the elements on our background. We're going to group them together and then we are going to name it as a background element so that when we download this element, it's just going to download as one image and not several elements. Once done, we can click on save and we can go back to our dashboard so that we could edit our pricing page block. Let's open that design again and then let's edit the pricing page block. Again, we are going to click on the layers pane and hide the background and change the background temporarily to a different color so that we can work on the changes and the adjustments. Right after that, we paste our updated copy. We align everything, we adjust the text, we change the font, the font size, and the rest of the copy or subheadlines that you need to add. After that, we are going to replace the supplement bottles with our supplement bottles that we created on Click Packaging. And then we are just going to align it and adjust the opacity, add some shadows, tilt the image a little bit, and basically just mimic the design of the previous template. We are going to repeat the process over and over for this pricing structure or this pricing column. So as you can see, we have here three bottles and then we have two bottles here on the right side. So again, we're just going to duplicate that bottle, tilt it, and obviously just copy the format of the first supplement or the first bottle in this template. Once we are done changing all the images of the bottles, we can now update the subheadline and also the copy and also the price of each package here in your pricing page. After that, we are going to group each box together again so that all the elements are together in one box. Then the last step would be to make sure that we unhide our background, remove this previous background, click on layers and click on the background group and then unhide our background. Once we're ready, we can click on save and now we are done with our pricing content block. Now we will go to the last part of our page block, which is our footer. We will click on edit, we will change the logo, obviously, and then we could also update the copy of the footer. You could change the font, you could change the footer text or the disclaimer text and everything else here. So now I'm going to group this again. I'm going to click on layers and then I'm going to remove the background temporarily so that I could work with the text and everything appears clearer to me. Once I'm done making all the changes here, the justifications and everything else, then we can bring back the background. So we click on layers again and then we unhide the background. Then we align the text and we could group them together as well move it a little bit on top. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to update our copyright here at the footer. And then right after that, we can click on save. Since we're done customizing all the elements of our page blocks, let's click on the three ellipses. And now let's preview what we've done so far. As you can see, we've completed the header. We've completed the content, the feature section, the pricing section, and also the footer. Now I'm going to click the three ellipses again. I'm going to click on download and then I'm going to click on the download button. Once it's done, I'm going to my local drive. I'm going to unzip this file. And now I have several page blocks right here, starting with the header. So now the purpose of us grouping all the elements together would be to make sure that these elements appear as one image 
and not as several images with so very little elements ending up with a lot more and very, very difficult to arrange. So now I'm just showing you how it looks like because we've grouped them almost all together. The next step for us is now that we've grouped these elements and they look more organized, we are going to log into our site builder and then we are going to upload all these elements one by one. Now that we are here in our site builder, we are going to upload all the images on our header folder first and add them here on the different placeholders on the site. So we will change this image placeholder and add our image of the eye serum. And then right after that, we are going to add our call to action button and obviously our headline. Moving on to our feature section, we are going to upload all the individual assets from our feature folder. And again, after uploading it to your website's image library, you're going to add them on the image placeholders, basically replace the subheadline or the headline and also some of the feature bullets. Once done, let's go to the content section and again, upload all the images from your content folder into your image library on your website. And then right after that, replace all the image placeholders under your content section. So we are going to repeat the process by uploading all the boxes right here with our features. Moving on to our testimonial block or testimonial section. Again, we will do the same thing. We will upload all the images from our testimonial folder and add it to our website's image library. Since we have grouped a lot of testimonials together, it is better so that we can add them and then we don't have individual images or individual assets to add one by one. Instead, we just have one testimonial block after the other that we can add. Now that we've added all the testimonial blocks together, we need to add the background that we have grouped together from Click Designs into one layer. So this is how our testimonial block looks like and now it's time to move on to our pricing section or our pricing block. Same thing, open your pricing folder and then right after that, upload all the individual assets or images that we have exported from Click Designs. Right after that, you add them all to your image library and then once done, we will insert them and replace all the placeholders on the pricing section. So what I did was I changed the price, the copy, I also changed the call to action button, the images, and also the credit card icons. And now this is how our pricing section looks like with the background added. Lastly, we need to work on our footer section. Again, let's open the footer section folder. Let's upload all the footer section images that we exported from Click Designs, and then let's add them here on our website. So I added the logo, and then next I'm going to add our disclaimer text that we got also from Click Designs. So after that, I believe we're done. Let's just have one final look at our sales page that we created on our site builder using Click Pages. This is the finished product. So there you have it. We've created a pro-looking scroll-stopping website using the done-for-you templates of Click Pages from Click Designs. Try this yourself now and increase your traffic, leads, and sales. Happy Click Designing!